All available experts, please report to room A9. Hello guys, Exeter here. Today I'm going to be going over the last of the D Dash series of modules by Panoptes. D Cipher. So, what we need we need to do first is translate all of these glyphs into the three separate things. Our number key, our letter key, and our encrypted word. So number key, we use the glyphs you can you would recognize from decode and the key and the letter key and the word will be for the letters you recognize from decrypt so our number key will be two and four twenty four our letter key will be f E T P M Do know that the letter key does not in fact have to be a word And I've encrypted word which is red In reading order so top row, middle row Middle two rows then final row So we have E Z X K I D R and finally O Emergency cleared. All personnel, please return to your stations. I would say why I've spaced them out like this later. So our first key, the number key, is a Caesar cipher. Shift each letter in the cipher text backwards in the effort by the key. Shifting backwards means going, say, from Z to Y or from B to A. So twenty four. A nice tip here is, if you're subtracting twenty four, you can equivalently add two. So as we see here, if we had a, for example, subtracting twenty four, so one minus twenty four would equal twenty three. Adding twenty six would give us 3, which would have been the same as we just started by adding 2 instead. So let's add 2 to all of these positions here. So you have G, B, it wraps round, Z wraps back round to A, X goes to Z, K goes to M, I goes to K, D goes to F, R goes to T, and O goes to Q. The second key we were given is what we're going to use to create a Playfair cipher. If you've done that much before, you're going to know how this works. We similarly need to Playfair cipher. I and J are interchangeable. So let's create the rest of the key here. So we can't use E, F, N, P, or T. Or J, technically. So A, B, C, D. Not E or F, so go straight to G. H, I, no J. K, L, M. No N, so O. No P, so Q. R, S, no T, so U. B, W, X, Y, and Z. And we do this as a regular... Playfair cipher. If the letters are on the same row column, we have up or left, up for columns, and left for rows. So moving left, G, but since G and B are on the same row, we're going to be moving both of them to the left. So G becomes D, 
and B becomes A. Z and M are in the same column, so we're going to be moving both up. So, so Z becomes U and M becomes G. K and F are on different rows and columns, so we use the classic Playfair rules of same row as itself being the column of the other letter. So K moves over to H and F moves across to T. Finally, TQ, same again, T moves across to Q's column, we get E. Q moves across to T's column, we get R. We now have our encrypted, decrypted word, daughter. So we now submit this similarly to decrypt as we hold each letter and wait for its corresponding glyph to appear. This is the scary part of this module, because you have to get it right eight times consecutively without fu without fault. So, let's do that now. So the D we're going to start with waiting for a 3, 1, 2. There we go. A is is horizontal line, smaller horizontal line, two dots. So. That one. X, uh, no, X, U, even, is the five dots above the line. G is the diamond of dots above the line. H is the pyramid pointing right. The T is the small bar, three dots, large bar. E is one dot, three dots, large bar. And then finally R is the bar and the large rectangle. Hopefully you now understand how to do decipher. In the shortest terms, decipher is literally just Caesar cipher and plate fair cipher and then not faulting up on not faulting on inputting it at the end. If you do mess it up, you can't re reset a letter. So you might as well just click on all of them to reset the entire module and it will generate a new new season shift, new playfair cipher and a different word. It will not be the same word as previously. So hopefully you know I'm a bit more confident with looking at decipher. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.